Hey hey, Carb Crunches, it's Freely the Banana Girl here. Today is day 11 of my 30 videos in 30 days. And I've had a lot of people ask me to actually demonstrate and show, me, show them the cooked vegan dinners I keep talking about. So I'm going to cook them and I'm going to show you three different options. And some of you might be thinking, Freely, Banana Girl, where's the fruit? WTF? Well, the fruit's in my ears. But actually, no, the fruit, the fruit is definitely the best dinner option to have. Although, sometimes for some people, cooked food is going to be a better choice for them over raw food, as I explained in my video last night. But today, I just want to show you some backup plans to keep you away from the high fat vegan food from the animal products and to keep you on the high carb path for life. So, let's get started. Here we have everything I'm going to cook with today. There's my data rate on the left. Um, we've got potatoes and pasta, we've got some root vegetables, some celery, sweet potatoes and a bit of salad. And potatoes. Okay, so just take the potatoes and peel them, peel those babies good. And then we chop them up like a ninja. And here we have sweet potatoes. I am so fast at this, I can't believe it. And pumpkin. So, what are you chopping up there, princess? We've got parsnips for baking. Yeah. For a big, delicious, high carb, low fat feast we're having tonight. Nice. Very, very nice. And we've already got. What have we got there? I'm going to come over a bit closer and have a look. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Pumpkin. Yep. Potatoes, carrot, nice. the soup. Yeah. So it's in progress. Awesome. It's going to be amazing. I bet it will be, especially if you're touch on it. So one thing to recommend when you're preparing your high carb cooked vegan dinner is to have some juice on hand just to keep you carved up. Okay. Absolutely. Or else, you know, you're just going to probably go for some high fat, high salt junk food. Or maybe you will, maybe you won't. But this is just a really good thing to have on hand. Okay, so here's one dinner option, corn pasta with low fat, low sodium sauce. You all know how to make pasta, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this. There it is boiling. Okay, so here we have the pasta. We've had this cooking for a bit. See, this is the amount that I would have in one meal. Okay, I know it seems like a huge amount, but hey, I like to carve up uh, to feel good. All right, and I don't have corn pasta very often at all. You know, I prefer to go for like whole foods, but this is a good backup plan. And come over here. Okay, so with this sauce, see this is the sauce that we've got, but it's a little bit high in sodium. So what we do, pour a little bit in, and we've got some chopped tomatoes, which don't have sodium in them, not added, added sodium, and just dilute it down a little bit. Dilute it down a little bit. I don't bother heating the sauce, you know, I just chuck it on top. And then you just mix it through. And hey presto, put a little bit of... Oh. Okay, Princess, what do we have here? We have got delicious vegetables for my trademark <laughs> veggie soup. It is. It's a very good veggie soup. Parsley, yep. parsnip, carrot, leek, cauliflower, sweet potato, kale, mm. turnips, celery, pumpkin, and potato. Yes. So it's all going into here with some corn. Yep. Covering with water. We'll boil it. And then, towards the end before we mash it, just a couple of teaspoons of this. And it's salt reduced. Reduced salt. Yeah. Nothing too nasty. Yeah. Just a little bit to bring out the flavor. And you don't have to add it if you don't want to, but that's just an option. Exactly. And the trick is to get more flavor in the soup as well as not to have it too hot. If it's too hot, it seems to be less flavor in it. Yeah. So um, just let it cool a little bit and it's magic. Awesome. And you do a little mash at the end, mash it Absolutely. up a bit. Absolutely. And this awesome salad, look what Princess made. This is beautiful. And what's in there? We've got zucchini and carrot grated, some corn, 
leek, parsley, and delicious cos lettuce with some lemon. Awesome. For squeezing over a simple dressing for best digestion. <laughs> So in the corner, we've got some beautiful veggies here that we're going to bake. No oil, no salt. Very good. Potatoes, parsnips, pumpkin and sweet potato. Okay, so I've got like um, a little steamer thing of water in the bottom there just to help with, you know, keeping a bit of moisture in the root veggies. Okay, then we're going to put them on. And see how it's got that greaseproof paper? That's going to help so it doesn't stick to the tray and we're going to flip them halfway through. You know, you just got to check them every now and again. So no oil needed at all? Yeah, no oil. Not even a spray, nothing? Yeah, that's great. And they're delicious, again, if you let them go just a little bit cool, not too hot, there's more flavour. Yeah. And steam, you know, steaming is best for health, but this is just yet another um, little option that you can have, which is tasty and low fat, low sodium. Okay, here's the princess putting all the ingredients into the soup bowl, into the saucepan, and she's got about yeah, she's got everything there. Look how fast she's going; it's unbelievable. Speedy Gonzalez, carved up big time. Now she's putting some boiling water into the soup. Why do you do that? Just to cover the vegetables so they cook faster, and you get a lots of hydration in there. Cool. For more flavour. And so this would be just um, how long would you let it boil for? Uh, probably another 40 minutes. Okay. Just until the water reduces. Like boiling that whole time or simmering? Or... Just simmering yeah. once it comes to the boil. And just let the water reduce and the veggies break up so all the flavours are mixed together. So here's the root vegetables being taken out of the oven. You don't want to get them too brown because that's not as healthy. So yeah, flipping them over to put them back in. And there's a soup bubbling away. So here we are with the end product. We've got our three meals, our three high carb, low fat vegan meals. Come on over and let's have a look. So this is, on this side we've got like the steamed potatoes, steamed root veggies, and then we've got the um, baked on this side. So this is like one serve. Hey, we want you to eat that whole thing in one meal, okay? No, like, no low carbers around here. Here we have this beautiful veggie soup that princess made. Thank you it's princess. It's magnificent. Look at that. It's so delicious and yes we would eat that much in one serve. That's right we recommend you eat that much in one serve okay. And that's a big bowl just so you know. Yeah that's right that's a massive bowl. And we've got the salad as well this beautiful salad which has kind of been decimated a little bit. We got into it earlier. It's a bit annihilated now. And um <laughs> <laughs> What this that? is what is left of the corn pasta. Mm -mm. Yeah, it was just too good to hang around for very long. <laughs> <laughs> but like usually, you saw the serve earlier, that's what we recommend that you eat. So, and there's a the sauce. This is my sister, Princess Nate, and I love her like a sister. She came here tonight to help out with the feast, the carver. Made this beautiful salad, this veggie soup. And she also has a YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe to her. It's Raw Fruits Neat. Raw Fruits Neat. I've been a bit lazy with my videos, but there will be more coming. My beautiful sister Freezy inspires me all the time, and I love her to bits. <laughs>